Romans 8, verse 2, it says, There's no condemnation in Christ because the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, since it was weakened by the flesh, God did. He condemned sin in the flesh by setting his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh as a sin offering, in order that the law, the requirements of the law would be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. So the Bible says here that the law of sin that you've been set free from the law of sin. You see, the law could never save you. The law was meant to be there to show you like a mirror the commandments. For example, the Ten Commandments, you shall not lie, you shall not steal, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not have any idols, you shall not have any gods before God, you shouldn't make a graven image, right? All these image, all these things, right? These show you, you shall not covet. You, these things show you how sinful you really are. It's the law of death. Second Corinthians uh, chapter 3 calls it the ministry of death under Moses. We've been under these commands, under the law, that we could not fulfill. But then it says that the Spirit of Christ has set you free, the Spirit of life in Christ has set you free from the law of sin and death. So now we're under grace. We're under the grace of God. And because we're under grace, now our life is not about necessarily, you know, checking off a list and going through all these ceremonies and rituals, our walk with God now is according to the Holy Spirit. Now we're called to walk by the Spirit, to walk by love. Even the law, the point of the law is actually love. The first five commandments are about loving God, and the last five commandments are about loving your neighbor. So if we walk in love and we just spend time focusing on our relationship with Jesus, then we would fulfill the law. That's why the Bible says, that the fruit of the Spirit, right, is love, joy, peace, patience, and it says, and against these things, there is no law. There's no law that you're breaking when you're walking in the Spirit, when you're bearing the fruit of joy and peace. So let's focus on the Holy Spirit. Let's focus on walking with Christ, keeping in step with the Spirit, because God, because the law, it says, was weakened by the flesh. The reason it was weak was our flesh could not keep the law. So Christ kept the law for us. Christ never sinned and died on the cross. And now he lives in us. So now the law is fulfilled in us as we walk out our unity with Christ. We're one with Christ. So as we live the Christian life, we're fulfilling the law, the requirements. Um, you know, now we're fulfilling them from the heart because we're doing it through the power of the Holy Spirit.